Praise the Lord, church. God is good, amen. Let's read a verse from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17. It says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Amen. You being here, being present, being alive, walking on your two feet is a blessing. Amen. 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 Okay, let's all stand up. I did this in the morning today where we have allowed people, at least given a minute with them in person with God just to pray and uh, worship Him. Just you and God. Just yourself. Let's all stand. I want to see all hands up, praising God, worshiping Him and thanking Him for whatever He has done in your life. Whatever you are today, it may be, you may be thinking it's what you have done, work hard, or just by because you have been living good, but I'm telling you, it's just the blessing of the Lord that you're standing over here. Amen. Just take this minute, worship Him, thank Him. You may have been busy throughout the week with your normal day to day, but this is the time you need to give it to God. And I want your hands up, all hands up, raising to heaven, and thanking Him for whoever He is, whatever He has done in your life. Just thank Him. Just close your eyes and lift up your voice and worship Him. Thank Him for whatever He has done in your life. We thank You, Lord. We praise You today, Father God. Thank You, Jesus. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Father God. You are the beginning and You are the end, Father God, Jesus. There is nothing, there is nothing in Your control, Father God. You know every heart, every person in this house, who's watching us through online, Father God. We leave their lives into your hands, Father God, today. We thank you that you have touched their heart today, Father God. And I pray that you'll bless them with your anointing. And Father God, you'll touch them with the Holy Spirit, Father God, today, Lord Jesus. We commit their lives into your hands, Father God. Whatever need they have come in this house with, Father God, you know their hearts, Father God, Jesus. And I pray that you'll bless them, Father God. And none of your children today will live empty this Father God, Jesus. We commit their lives, we commit this whole service into your hands, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pray and ask. Amen. Amen. Let's join our hands as we continue to praise and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
shine our light to the world. Amen.
is the Lamb. People sing, You are holy.
just be in the attitude of prayer. He is holy. He is holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, just give him all the praise and the honor that he deserves. All the greatness that he's done for us in our lives. Just be thankful. Oh, that we are standing here in the midst. Oh, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just be in the attitude of prayer, church. Let's not lose our focus. Hallelujah. Look to that cross, the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. You are holy. You are holy, Lord God Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Lord, for the good things you do, Lord. We praise your name, Lord God Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for everything you've done, Lord. We thank you, Lord God Almighty. We honor you, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise your name. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence in this place, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are here in between us, Lord God Almighty, that we could praise you, Lord Jesus. It's all because of you, Lord Jesus, we could see another day in our lives. We could breathe, Lord Jesus. We are standing in the presence, Lord. It's all because of you, Lord, and we are thankful for that, Lord. We thank you for that, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. It's not by our might, Lord, but by your strength, Lord, that we could do everything today. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are great, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. There are thousands and thousands of things, Lord, that we are thankful for, Lord Jesus, Lord. We just want to say thank you, Lord. We are nothing without you. We are nothing without you, Jesus, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the praise and the honor, Lord. We give you everything, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We feel your presence in this place, Jesus. We feel your love, your presence, Lord. You're touching each and everyone's life at this moment in time, Lord Jesus. You are walking among their lives, talking to the hearts of the people, Lord, touching them, healing them, Jesus. We thank you for that, Lord. We honor you and we praise you, Jesus, Father God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There is nothing more than a thank you, Lord. For all the things you do for us, Lord. We just honor you and we praise you for that, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. We just want to praise and thank you, Lord, for all the people who are watching online today. We pray, Lord Jesus, as the message is going to be brought forth today, we know, Lord, that it's going to touch and mold each one of us, Lord, and shape us in the way that you want us to be, Lord. Let us not be only hear us Lord but the doers of your word and be an example Lord Jesus out in the world and out wherever we go to Lord Jesus that we may be a shining light and an example to so many people we interact with Jesus that our lives may shine and be an example and outstanding Lord that we are your loved ones and your kids Lord that your name be glorified Jesus Lord I also pray for the team that has gone out to Mangere today Lord we pray Lord for anointing over their lives each one of them Lord we pray that Jesus that many lives will be touched there kids lives older ones healing will be there Lord Jesus and we thank you for each one that has sacrificed their time to be there this week Lord I pray Lord that everything will go well and also as they prepare back home you'll give them safe journey we pray that you'll be with all the ones who will be driving, every single one that will come, be coming back home. We ask for a journey missing to be upon their lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, once again for the lives of everyone who has made their time to be here today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your blessing over their life and those who cannot make it today, Lord, for whatever reason. If there be any sickness, Lord, we ask for healing over their lives, Lord. And everyone, Lord, and everything else, we just want to say thank you, Lord. And also, as we hear your word, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you will uh, bless the speaker, Lord, as she brings forth the message. We thank you. Let it be a message, Lord, that we may upon in our lives and that we may hear and walk according to your word, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And let us not forget, Lord, 
let our lives be an example each and every single day not just today but every single day in this week and wherever we go let us be an example to everybody we thank you lord once again we thank you for the lives of everybody and thank you for this beautiful service in jesus name we pray amen Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Amen. It's time to hear the word. And we have uh, Pastor Ellie with us this morning and she'll be bringing the word. Let's give her a hand as she comes. Praise the Lord. Okay. I'll read from 1 John. Chapter 1, verses 1 to 7. I mean, John chapter 1. Sorry, it, from reading from 1 to 7. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a, a man sent from God, whose name was John, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Uh, my topic today is living in the light of God. <coughs> it's, uh, it is very disoriented when we walk from bright light, sunlight and into dimly lit place or a darkened room you know, from the bright to the dull. And then what happens that uh, many, feel, many people feel lightheaded in the head or dizzy first, others such as poor uh, night vision that they need to stand very still and wait for a few seconds, even minutes, for their eyes to become accustomed to the darkness. Lack of caution when walking into darkness can lead to stumbling or even uh, broken bones. <laughs> uh, sometimes even in the light we fall. <laughs> Lack of caution, I mean, that you're working. Uh, throughout the Bible, darkness and light are used as co contrast to portray sin and holiness. Those who are in darkness or who walk in darkness are in sin. Those who are in the light and who walk in the light are those who are saved and living for God. Darkness hides. Light reveals. Light represents what is good, pure, true, holy, and reliable. God is light. Light means that God is perfectly holy and true and that he alone can guide us and out of darkness of sin. Uh, light is also related to the truth in that it exposes whatever exists, whether good or bad. In the dark, good, bad and evil looks the same. In the light, they can be clearly distinguished, just as darkness cannot exist in the presence of light. Sin cannot exist in the presence of the Holy God. Without Christ and his light, the world stumbles and falls. We have the light of God in our hearts through the presence of Christ. Apostle John talks of the light 
that is ours in Christ. And walking in the light. God gives us hope and help for walking in the light. We live in a society today that has all but abundant traditional Christian standard of conduct. Today, they do whatever you like. Philosophy has taken over as a rule for a social interaction. Sadly, we are reaping bitter harvest of this turn of our Christian standard. Any daily newspapers, given facts, it's not as usual to read headlines fol like uh, following people arrested in the bust, vehicle theft rises, teenage mothers attendant abundance baby. Breaking robberies, child abuse, suicide, rise, rates high, rises, teenage pregnancy, the list could go on and on. This is a grim picture, yet it is happening. Daily on our street and our communities, what can we do? Psalm 119, verse 1. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walks in the law of the Lord. Tells us to walk according to God's law. And our lives will be undefiled. Christians can change society. It is so important for believers to look to the scriptures for guidance in making past, present, or future, I mean, in, 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 making personal decisions. So, uh, God knows the past, present, and future. If we commit ourselves to follow these biblical precepts, God will be pleased in our life. Follow God's way, then and then only happen. Uh, will be able to fulfill our true happiness. People are searching for happiness in the wrong places, yielding to peer pressure, looking for mystical religions or consulting horoscopes. Yes, they are searching in the wrong place. Some think that becoming an educated Christian will take away all the joy and pleasure of life. If we can present the word of God, it is true light. We may be able to win them to the Lord. The teaching of scriptures bring liberty and joy rather than bondage and sadness. Uh, I use this illustration in the Hindi service. Uh, there was a couple who read the Bible and prayed and they lived, um, example, one day a neighbor approached the man and a very unusual question he asked, where do you two attend church? Not many weeks later, the same neighbor showed up in the church and eventually he was converted, they were converted to Christ. Later the pastor commented, this couple on the influence they had on the lives of this, their neighbor. They were watching this couple's life and that convinced him for the reality of salvation. He observed the joy you possess and your caring attitude. This was a silent yet keep um, People are powerful testimony. In a sort of way saying, action speaks louder than words. How daily living, our character, how we liaise with one another, and what we do will always reflect. We cannot say we are keeping his commandments if we have hatred in our heart. 
for others. Jesus emphasized to the disciples the importance of love for each other. As I have loved you, he also loved one another. Apple John says in John chapter 13, verse 34, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Very clear and very specific, that we are to love as Christ loves us. Such a love makes us truly brotherly fellowship. We come here, we greet each other, we show our love, we help those in need. That is what we are showing our love to. And we know that... Uh, God is there always to lead and guide us. Um, such love makes a truly brotherly fellowship possible and shares the lights of God's love on every relationship. The love of Christ, loving others through us, dispels all darkness. There is no place for hatred if we're truly walking in the uh, light of God. Of love. To profess to know Christ and yet walk in hatred towards a brother or sister is to be self-deceived. Sometimes oh, we don't like that person, we don't like this, you know. Uh, so Christ is teaching us that love, for all, where love is there, hatred shouldn't be there. The one who loves walks in the clear light of day. Avoid avoiding obstacles that might cause uh, the world's glamour and glitter pulls hard on our hearts, knowing this Apostle John was led by the Holy Spirit to give the necessary command, even as Christian, not to love the world. Mark of a Christian, John 1, 318. He says, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Imagine yourself holidaying in a swampy region. You suddenly find yourself confronted with a large reptile which comes slitting across the grass and jaws flapping an eye on your leg. Do you worry about whether it is an alligator or a crocodile? Or do you simply take off running? Do you even know the identification, finding marks of alligator and crocodile? Most people do not. It probably wouldn't matter what type of uh, snout they have. All that would Matter is a speedy exit you would make to stay away from its snout. You don't want to face the crocodile or the alligator. Christians are to be known by the marks the world sees in their lives. As Christians, we are to be identifiable and identifiable by our behavior. Unfortunately, too many Christians are like the alligators and crocodiles. Hard to tell them apart from the worldly or un around us because we so closely resemble from them in our behavior, our characteristic, which uh, should set us apart from the world. In the nature and extent of love people see in our lives, we ought to show God's love in abundance, as individual and as a body of believers. The love of God must shine in our lives, otherwise we are no better than the unbelievers who struggle around in the dark of his own selfishness. It is unable to experience or give the abundant love God puts in our believers. 
heart through Jesus Christ. Uh, John, first John three, one to sixteen. Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purifieth himself. Even as he is pure, hope that purifies. John marvelled at the love of God bestowed on believers. He marvelled at His manner and how great and glorious it is, at the quality and quantity of God's love. The wonderful love of God enables us to bear the title "sons of God," or Uh, you know, John points out, uh, points out that we should not be surprised when the uh, world fails to recognize. As as God's children, as Christians, our self worth is based on the fact that God loves us and calls us His children. Genuine love for others. John declares love declared love to be a benchmark of a Christian. Love one another was a part of the good news. It is the core of the gospel. If we are not loving one another, we are missing the point of life in Christ and freedom from sin. There is a contrast between love and hatred. Look at Cain and Abel makes a good picture of the contrast between a life filled with God's love and a life that misses the mark. Cain's failure to love his brother led him to murder. To love is to forgive life. To hate is to kill. I mean, love is to give life. Love is in our daily living means giving freely of all that we have to help those who are in need, whether it be a gift of our money, possession, time, or whatever we are able to share. The Christian's work is a unique lifestyle. No matter, no other religion is filled with commandments to live a holy life of love for God and others. We have His love to help us love even the unlovable. So let us walk in the light. To live in a light is also pleasing God. He requires humble submission. Um, Let's close our eyes as we stand and we pray. Let's all stand and pray. We pray. Almighty God, thank you for this new day. Thank you also for being our light and strength, Father. Your light is in our heart, enables us to see that there is always a purpose and hope in our lives. Thus, continue to dwell in us, in our mind. Heart and soul, likewise, bless with a, bless us with a courage, courageous heart and a positive line of thinking, so that we will always be driven to move forward despite the challenges and setbacks in our journey. Father, we acknowledge you as the foundation of our lives. Trials and pains may forsake us for a while, for a while, but we know. The will never crumble, nor get uprooted, because you are always standing by our side and filling our lives with calmness, courage, hope, and mercy. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. Let's give another clap uh, to our... This morning, uh, she talked about love, the love of God, and then now the light, we're being light, and uh, without these things, we cannot properly evangelize. We want to win souls, we need the love and the light of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I think we, we can sing that song once more. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Shine all over. Si shine all over. Your family, shine all over where you stay. Let's all stand. Shine all over Fiji and then the rest of the world. That we shine the light of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. This little light of mine, that's the light of Jesus in our hearts. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Come on, everyone. This, this little light of mine. I'm gonna this let light. it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out. Don't let Satan blow it up. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it up. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it up. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine all over Kinoya. Shine all over Kinoya, yes. Come on, sing it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Yeah. Shine, shine all over Kinoya, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over Kinoya, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Shine all over Fiji. Shine all over Fiji, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Come on, shine your light. Shine all over Fiji, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over Fiji, yes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's give a clap offering unto the Lord. You may be seated. Amen. So good to see all of you here. And I know that this service has been a blessing to all of us. Praise the Lord. I'll just quickly go through the announcements. But first, um, I've got, in two, got two names. Uh... Two people who are here for the first time, Alumita and Timaima. If you just raise your hand so we can see you and welcome you. Welcome. And we're so glad that you are here. You're most welcome to join us again and come worship with us. God bless you. And I hope you have a wonderful day and the rest of the week. Anyone here? Anyone else here for the first time? Or after a long time? We have Sister Myra there. After a long time, see her. Good to see you. She came last week as well. All right. Uh, there's no other service this afternoon. Uh, we had the morning service earlier. And there's no other service uh, today. So go home, stay home, be with your family, and enjoy the rest of the evening. And thank God for today. 
Tuesday we have our prayer prayer and prayer meeting and fasting prayer and fasting from 7 and I invite all of you to come and join in with us as we pray and thank God for all that he has been doing in our lives. Amen. It's a it's our midweek revival. Um and then going further on Thursday, uh, you can see the uh, bulletin. Uh, we have our life group meetings. Uh, Dombati is at uh, Brother Joshua Singh's place and Suva life group. They have their visitation and Bible study. And the rest of the areas, you can just check in with your life group ministers and see what is going on in your area. On Friday, we have our department meetings. We call it our family nights where we have our kids club, CAs, Women's Ministry and Men's Ministry from 7 p.m. And you are welcome to join in with that as well. We have something for everyone. And uh, we hope to see you. We want to fill this place on Fridays as well. Amen. You bring, you come, you bring your family, your friends, your neighbors, whoever is there. Bring them. And we'll have a good time of fellowship and worshiping God. On Sunday, we have our 830 AM service, our Hindi service from 8.30, 11 AM is our English, and then we will be having our Itoki service from 3 PM, and Sunday school at all these times as well. Uh, for all other announcements, please, we'll look into our bulletin. Uh, the men's ministry mission to a team, they are in Mangere right now, that's in Tavua, our Tav church in Tavua. Uh, they were in uh, Ba. Navutu Ba, uh, ministering there for the last uh, few days, and uh, we hope to hear good testimonies when they come back of what God has been doing. So keep them in your prayers. They'll be returning. Uh, this morning they spent time with uh, Pastor Rohit there at our Mangere Church, and they will be returning. We hope by this afternoon they are back. So keep them in your prayers as they drive down uh, today. And that God will bless them for the time and the effort that they put into this ministry. Uh, Balevu ministry, uh, Newtown Valilevu Life Group will be going to our Balevu church uh, this afternoon from 3 p.m. And uh, you can check with your area minister uh, for the details of uh, that. Uh, women's ministry. There's a combined Hindi language uh, service that will be on Saturday, the 26th of October at Bethany AG. Uh, you can check with your WM's uh, leaders uh, for more information on that if you need to go. If you want to go, we encourage you to go. So you can check in with your leaders on uh, what all that entails. Also, uh, Please, there's a save the date. It's not a wedding, but uh, it's our church picnic. So November 30th, it's a Saturday. Yes, Saturday, November 30th is our church picnic. We're planning to do this. More information will be given out later on uh, where, how, and all of these things, how much. Uh, so just keep that date free. If you need to take leave, take it now. So we can all go together as a church and have a good time of fun, fellowship, we we'll play games and mingle around with each other and form bonds. <laughs> all right. Uh, men's ministry, WMs, if you need to update your pledges, please do so. All right. I think that's about it. Yes. Let's all stand to our feet. Also, uh, right now, media, if you are, uh, uh, how many of you use right now media? There are very few people here in the morning. Ex actually, no one lifted their heads. <laughs> okay, one there. So if you, uh, right now media, it's, uh, it's a subscription uh, service that our church is subscribed to. Uh, it's like Netflix and YouTube. Uh, you can get all Christian programs there. So it has a lot of... Uh, teachings and uh, uh, sermons and all of these things, testimonies and cartoons for the kids, all Christian cartoons. So if you, if you are not, you, sh you should be, uh, you should have access to it. So just give me your uh, name and email and or just see me after the service and uh, we'll see how we can get you registered for that. 
All of our members should have that and you should be using it. Amen? Oh, very little amen. amen. All right. Okay. Let's all take out our tithes and offerings. Amen. All right. Let's all pray. Dear Lord, we come before you once again in the name of Jesus. We are so gr glad and grateful to be found in your house this morning. And Lord, as we collect the offering, I pray that you bless those who give. And Lord, let they never run out of anything because you're a God who supplies all our needs. We thank you. We trust you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Choir. Choir. Quiet and away. <laughs> all right, let's all stand. Remain standing, remain standing. We'll sing. We have, actually, we have plenty of time. All right. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for setting me free. Yes, I'm free. Once I was lost. Once I was lost, but now I'm found. And my soul is heavenly bound. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for setting me free. Yes, I'm free. Once I was lost. Once I was lost, but now I'm found. And my soul is heavenly bound. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time, God is, God good. is good. Amen. So we've come to the end of our service. Has anyone celebrated their birthday or wedding anniversary either this week or last week? Hands up. No one? One? Huh? Who? Oh, and of oh. It was her anniversary last week. She forgot. <laughs> All right. Come, come. Come up, friend. Oh, auntie's uh, anniversary as well. Yes. Let's give them a hand as they come. Also, can we have the prayer list, please? All right. Anyone else? Birthday, wedding anniversary. Where? See, want to hide these people. Also, if you need special prayer, if you need prayer for something, please come forward as well. Yes, no? All right, can I ask Sister Jessie if you can come and pray uh, for these lovely people? Come, come to the middle. Why do you want to go to the... edge. <laughs> all right. Let's all stand and just uh, reach out your hands as we pray and bless them. And pray also for this, uh, those who are sick and also our senior pastor is not fully recovered yet. Let us come before God in prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father. Great I am. Great. Thank you. Thank you for this time. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love that is always upon our lives, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord, <clears throat> for this morning, for your word. And Lord, we thank you for um, my sisters here, Lord, as they've celebrated their wedding anniversary and their birthday. 
Father God, this is all because of you, Lord. It's all because of your faithfulness that they are seeing it another day of, um, in their marriage, in their lives. And Lord, we want to acknowledge and say thank you to you, my Lord. Father, we also pray and remember those that are sick right now, Lord. Father God, we thank you. You're a God who's always faithful. You're a God that always stands up when we ask. And Lord, I thank you and I commit all the sick people unto your hands this morning that Lord, you will touch, heal, and deliver them in whatever situations that they're in right now, Lord. Father God, we thank you. We also pray and we thank you for our pastor, Lord. Father, we pray, we say thank you for your strength, your love, your peace that is always upon his life. And Lord, I pray for his condition right now, Lord. I pray for your hand upon him, O oh God. Father God, I thank you for his life, O oh God. Father, we pray for your blood covering, for your protection, for your strength, Lord upon his life. And Lord, I thank you for all these special people that are here this morning, oh God. Lord, we pray and we commit the week ahead unto your mighty hands that Lord, you will protect them, oh God. You will be them, oh God. In whatever decisions that they're going to be making this week, oh God, that Lord, you will give them the strength. Father God, we pray that Holy Spirit, you will help them to do the right decisions, oh God. Father, I thank you. I cover their lives with the precious blood of Jesus. And may they always remember that you are always with them. You will take them through whatever situation and circumstances that they go through. Father God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this service. We thank you and we offer this prayer in no other name, but in the most precious name of Jesus. And everyone agree with me and say, Amen. 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 Well, praise the Lord. We've come to the end of our service. Thank you for being a part of uh, our service today. And as you leave, please don't just go. Meet with each other. We have VIPs in the house, if you know what I mean. So please go meet each other, make friends, and then we'll see you Tuesday. <laughs>